Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. This is Japanese language series episode 4 introduction to particles. These are the contents which you are going to see in the, this session. Word order in Japanese sentences and introduction to particles. So let's start. Word order in Japanese sentences. So the basic word order in English is subject verb object but the word order in Japanese is subject object verb. Instead of saying I watched TV, you are going to say I TV watched. Or let's say instead of saying I ate sushi, you are going to say I sushi ate. So subject object verb is the basic word order in Japanese but object subject verb is also acceptable. So for example, if Mary invited John, you can either say Mary John invited or John Mary invited in Japanese. Introduction to particles. The Japanese use a riddle tag called a particle right after each noun phrase. So the particle for the action performer is ga and the particle for the action receiver is o. So that is how you are going to decide who, decide, who invited whom. So both of these following sentences mean Mary invited John. Miyari ga John o sasoi mashita. So sasoi mashita means invited. So after Mary, we are going, we are using ga particle, which is the action performer particle. And after John, we are using o particle, which is the action receiver particle. So that is how we are going to decide that Mary is going to invite John and not vice versa. Okay, now let's see another example. John o Miyari ga sasoi mashita. So in this sentence, we have, uh, exchange the positions of Mary and John. So we are first placing John but again with John we are using the object uh, action receiver particle and again with Mary we are using object performer particle. So that is how we can make out that Mary is the one who is, who is going to invite John. So Ga is the subject making particle and O is the direct object making, making particle. And they do not have any equivalents in English. So other Japanese particles include kara, made, ni, de, to, and ka. They can be translated into English words like from, until, to, with, by, at, in, on, and or. But each particle is translated differently depending on the context. For example, the particle they corresponds to in, by, or with in English depending on the context. Now let us see some examples. Bosuton de Benkyo Shimasu, which means I'll study in Boston. Now they in this context means in. Bosuton is Boston, Shimasu means I will, and Benkyo means study. Take the next example. Akushi de Ikimasu, which means I'll go by taxi. So in this context, they means by, and Ikimasu means to go. So literally translates to taxi by I go. Take another example. Foku de tabemasu, which means I eat with a fork. De means with in this context. And tabe masu means eat. And foku means fork. So literally it means fork with I eat. Okay guys, this was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode and please subscribe to my channel.